but the rich and the poor are all a part of God's creation. For if there should come into your assembly a man with gold rings and fine apparel, and there should also come in a poor man in filthy clothes, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and saying to him, you sit here in a good place, and you say to the poor man, you stand there or sit at my footstool. Have you not shown partiality among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Listen, my beloved brethren, has God not chosen the poor of this world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he promised to those who love him? But you have dishonored the poor man. Do not the rich oppress you and drag you into the courts? Do they not blaspheme that noble name by which you are called? If you really fulfill the royal law according to the scriptures, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You do well. But if you show partiality, you commit sin and are convinced by the law as transgressors. Now, while it can be challenging not to show partiality, we must strive to treat our poor and rich neighbors the same because one is not better than the other. Whenever we treat our neighbors who are next door or halfway across the world with the same love, we treat ourselves and we follow the advice that Solomon has given us, then we're going to have peace with them. 